Good morning, friends. It's Jessica from Three Rivers Homestead, and today we woke up to our first snow here in northwestern Ohio for the year. It's almost, I think it's the last day of November today, which is kind of late for us. Usually we get one snow kind of earlier in November, but the kids are very excited. Typically, if they wake up and there's enough accumulated snow on the ground, they get to skip school and head outside to play right away but it's kind of slowly trickling down and there might not be enough here for a little longer so the kids hurried upstairs to get um, all their schoolwork done and then to get ready and we're just going to enjoy a day of playing outside in the snow and i'm going to make some homemade dairy-free hot cocoa with some homemade marshmallow fluff if you'd like to learn how to do that and i'll show you the joys of getting six kids ready to play outside in the snow and the joy that it brings them. So why don't you come along with us? Okay, to make our marshmallow fluff for our cocoa, the first thing I've got is a half a cup of water here and I'm going to add three tablespoons. This is beef gelatin and I get this in bulk from Azure Standard. I will link below which one that I get and I'm just gonna mix this together in this bowl and kind of give it ten minutes to let this gelatin bloom a little bit. And that's how we begin our marshmallows. And then the next step is I took another half cup of water and then one cup total of sweetener with a teaspoon of salt and I put it in a pan and I'm cooking this on the stove, just kind of letting it warm up a little bit. Now you could use any kind of sweetener. I used a, a half a cup of honey and a half a cup of maple syrup. You could use corn syrup. You could use sugar. You could use all honey, all maple syrup agave sweetener whatever you want to sweeten this but today we chose to use honey and maple syrup and then I'm just gonna kinda stir this until it gets warm and that honey is kind of dissolving a little bit okay I've put the bowl with the gelatin on our KitchenAid mixer with the whisk feature here and what I'm gonna do is slowly pour in my sweetener mixture and let this whisk for about 10 minutes or so and then it'll fluff up into a marshmallow fluff in about the last minute or so, I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and that will give it the, the unique vanilla marshmallow flavor. After about 10 minutes, we have our marshmallow fluff, and it is perfect. This is actually fluff that I can even have. I can't have sugar or corn syrup, but I can have honey and maple syrup. So this is a great, healthier alternative to the marshmallow fluff or the marshmallows that you would get in the grocery store. And it's super easy to make. It took me about 15 minutes total. It's over who was going to get to lick the beaters, so everybody got a little spoon. What do you guys think? Let me know how it tastes. Great. Good. Is it good? How do you think that's going to taste in some hot cocoa after you come in from playing in the snow? Great. 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 <laughs> Great.
Yeah. Your nose is red. Was it cold out there? Yeah, I know it's red. Your nose is red. <laughs> Let's get all warm by the fire, okay? Um. Kids are getting all changed and warmed up by the fire. I just made them some hot cocoa here. This is... It was about one and a half quarts of homemade cashew milk, and then I added about a half a cup of cacao powder and about a half a cup of maple syrup. And then I'm gonna take a little scoop of the homemade marshmallow fluff and put it on top of each one. And as you can see, that melts in really nicely and it makes it like a, like a store-bought marshmallow fluff. It's really nice. And then I have one child who doesn't like hot cocoa, David prefers tea. And I have a German friend who gave me this. It's called Wintersight. I believe that means winter time in German. So I figured that would be a good one for him today. So he's going to have tea. And then I just made some popcorn. This was um, popped in olive oil on the stove and then with some salt added. And we'll have some sliced up apples. This will be a little treat. The kids are going to warm up for a little bit, let their snow gear kind of dry out and head back outside after they're done to play a little more. So we always set up a rack here by the wood stove, try to get everybody's snow gear there to dry out a little bit. Are you guys going to head back out and play some more? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. We're going to make a big snow castle yeah. bigger than this house. What have you been doing so far this morning? Mm. Building the castle. Collecting snow before anybody else takes it. <laughs> we got buckets of snow and we dumped them out and there's loads of it. And we have like this big castle thing that goes over like a cave, and we're digging a hole through it. So are you making a boy fort and a girl fort, or one fort all together? Mm. We're separately doing it. Separate. Separate, and then you can have a snowball fight from your forts later, boys versus girls? Mm. When they throw a snowball at our fort, it'll just get our fort stronger, because it'll stick onto our fort. There you go, that's a good idea. Uh, not unless we make ones this big, and we just lob them at their ceiling, and it falls um. in. All right. Enjoy. Yeah, Cool. It's been a busy day for these kids. They were outside from 10 to noon and they came in just for a little bit to warm up and eat lunch. And then they've been back outside and it's a little after 4 and I'm having to pull them back in. So they are going to be very hungry. I'm going to cook lots of extra calories to make up for all of the work they did outside, building forts and playing and having fun in the snow today. We hope that you have also had a blessed day, and we look forward to talking to you again in the future. Until then, bye friends.